Hey everyone, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing these cool loading animations uh, all inside XD. Um, these are quick and easy to make and uh, they also are very engaging as well. So loading animations should be fun to watch and they shouldn't, you know, they should reduce drop-offs as compared to increase drop-offs. And as you can see, I've used a bunch of techniques to create these and without further ado, we'll just get started with the video. Before we start the video, do go ahead in the comments right now, tell me which one is your favorite. Is it number one, the skeleton man? Is it number two or is it number three? Go right now in the comments and tell me which one is your favorite. Go. So I have already downloaded an SVG from uh, Shutterstock and uh, Shutterstock is awesome because you get some really premium kind of content there. So here we have a basic skeleton model and uh, each one of these is actual, uh, actually different bones, they're different pieces. So for this one, it's extremely, extremely simple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this artboard so that we have the second artboard. And in this, we'll first of all remove all these little details like the nose uh, and the eyelashes and, and the eyebrows. I don't know why these are here, but you know, they're here, so they're here. Uh, we're going to remove these so that it's now a plain skeleton. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our assets panel on the left. Just open the assets panel right here. And um, if you go inside the assets panel, you can see all these elements. So first of all, what I'm going to do is select half of these elements. So we have about 67 elements. So let's go with 1 through 40. So 1 through 40 will be our first uh, circle which will be our inner circle or you can ma make sure it's the outer circle whatever one you like so uh, for this what we're gonna do is use a plugin which is called Ranger for XD so I'm just gonna click on a Ranger for XD after I've selected 1 through 40 and I'll select the size of the circle so for this one we want this to be the inner circle so 450 uh, 450 should do it maybe we'll have to increase the size oh definitely we'll have to so let's go with 600 by uh, 600 on this one. Perfect, so we got these bones uh, in the middle and we'll just try and uh, now this has just created a group here. So what I'm gonna do is just center this out, right? I'm just gonna center it. If I click here, I can center it. And um, this has created our first selection, but we'll ungroup this. So say Command Shift G or Control Shift G to ungroup these elements. We don't want it to be in a group. And we'll go back to, to the assets panel and we'll select all the elements after number 40. So 41 onwards to 41 to 67. And now we, what we'll do is create a circle which is bigger than the inner one. So we had 650, we want say uh, 900 this time, right? Uh, we want a good amount of padding around the circle as well. And we'll just place this again in the center. We, we, this has been grouped now so we can quickly place it in the center. Uh, just like that. You can create a bigger circle, uh, whatever you like. I'm just, uh, for sure I'm doing this. And I'm gonna ungroup this and I'll say Command Shift G or Control Shift G to ungroup the elements. Uh, now perfect, now all I need to do is say uh, loading, right, in the middle so that it indicates that it's a loading animation. And I'm just gonna place it in the center of the circle, perfect. And now we've got one set done. So we'll do one last artboard and then we'll create the animation quickly. So um, what I'll do is I'll just cut this loading out so that I can select. And here I'll just say, again, I'll say six through 40, which is essentially one through 40. Uh, so this is the inner circle that we're talking about. And now what we wanna do is we want to uh, you know, rotate these elements. So we'll go back to a ranger and we'll make sure that we select the initial size. We had done 650 by 650. This was our initial size. Uh, we wanna make sure it's the same size and we wanna just rotate it a little bit, just like that, right? So the, now the, as you can see, the skull is at the bottom and that's, that's how we want it to be. And we can decrease the circle a little bit just to make sure that there's a little more distance, perfect. And now this has been grouped. So first of all, we place this again in the center. We want the position to be same. And I'll ungroup this circle, perfect. 
and I'll go back into the assets panel or the or the layers panel and I'll say um, 40 to 67 that's the outer circle and go back to arranger and we'll do the same thing 900 by 900 which we had before earlier and I want this to rotate as well so as you can see this has rotated a little bit I can rotate it a little more perfect and just manually rotate it and just manually place it in the center as well and I'll just say command shift G or control shift G to ungroup all these elements make sure then none of these elements are in a group, otherwise it won't really work. And I'll place the loading, uh, loading back right here. So the loading might shift a little bit right here because I've changed uh, some of these positions right here, but that's fine. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna prototype this real quick. So what I'll do is, since this is not a group, I'll just make the rib cage activated and I'll bring the arrow to the second artboard, say tap, Auto animate must be on all the time. And I'll say ease in out. And how about it takes about 1.5 seconds. Not too long, but not too short as well. And I, on the second artboard, I just wanna click on the name of the artboard and bring this arrow to the third artboard. And here I wanna say, say one second should be fine. And I want this to just continue rotating all the time. So I'll just bring this arrow to the second artboard as well at the same time. So let's check this out. So if I click on this rib cage, it should transform into this circle and then it should also kind of on tap just rotate. I could, uh, I could make this auto rotate by changing tap to time. Okay, so for this next one, I will use the repeat uh, grid style to basically uh, try and create uh, some cool, um, you know, ring kind of effects. So for this one, I just want this to have zero fill, so no fill here, but I want a, about a two pixel border, right? Perfect. And let's make this a red, just like we did, and let's make this a three pixel border, perfect. And I'll just click on this, and I will click on repeat grid on the top right. And uh, as you can see, these green handles have appeared. All you need to do is just shift these green handles, and as you can see, the circles are repeating themselves. But for this, uh, the, for this animation, we'll just have to make sure that we drag these inwards so that they're closely placed together, something like this. Maybe slightly even more. Mm, let's get, yeah, this is almost perfect. And we'll just, as you can see, we've created these circles and I'll say ungroup the grid. And that is what we wanted. And I'll just rotate this just a little bit, just like that. And place it right here. And I'll just quickly copy this and to make sure that it places uh, and I'll rotate this again in the other uh, direction like this. Perfect. And I'll make these red into these blues, right? And I'll make sure that they're aligned like this so that the circles intersect. And I'll just copy this entire thing. Make sure you don't group any one of these, otherwise it, uh, the animation might not uh, tend to work. And I'll make sure this is a green. Perfect. Now we'll select all of these, make sure that they're in the center of the artboard, just like that. And we have more or less our final animation here. And what we'll do is now go backwards. So I'll quickly copy the artboard back here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, you know, select all of these and just a quick trick, I will go to the top right and I'll say align middle vertically and align middle horizontally. As, as you can see, now we just have a simple circle. And uh, we want this circle, we you can put any icon in between, but I'm just gonna skip that for now. And we'll create another third artboard with the middle artboard. So now for the fun part, what I'm gonna do is just select all of these. And since it, this one doesn't really look a lot like a pattern or something fun, we'll go back and we'll use Arranger again. So see, Arranger is one of my favorite design tools on, uh, favorite design plugins on Adobe XD by far. And I'm just gonna change, uh, and make sure that the circle has been selected and just change this according to you. So let's just change it to 300 by 300. And as you can see, this, this pattern, little pattern has been created, which is pretty awesome. And uh, this pattern is inspired basically by um, an Indian, like, like a cool Indian artifact, uh, but that's, that's fine. So 400 by 400 should also be even better. Hmm, see, 
uh, the more you increase it, the more, uh, you know, oh my God, that looks absolutely perfect. That looks like a 3D element. <laughs> We're not gonna go with that right now. And as you can see, this circle is now created. For the second one, we'll do something very similar. For, first, make sure that you click on this circle and say Command Shift G, Control Shift G to ungroup this. As you can see, it's been ungrouped. And I'm gonna click all of, and select all of these and the third one as well. And make sure this is also something similar, but I can make this slightly bigger or I can, you know, rotate this also a little bit, you know, make sure that it's rotating at least. And we'll place it right here. And this will just give this definition right here. And I can do this, I can do this. Loading animations can look like this. So let's go and prototype this. First of all, just click on this and say Command Shift G to unprop this. Yeah. So here I'm just gonna prototype this artboard and bring the arrow to the second artboard. Say tap, auto animate, ease in out should be fine. How about two seconds? And on the second one, I'll just set a timer. So rather than saying tap, I'll say time and the same uh, duration, how about one second? And I'll bring this one back. So here you go. And uh, let's prototype this, let's go and play it. So if I click on the circle, Oh, that is trippy. Oh, nice. Oh, this looks 3D. This is even better than what we created initially. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna put this in the final result as well. Okay, so the last one is slightly tricky, but it's worth the time. So what I'm gonna do is create a couple of circles. So I'll create one circle and I'll make sure it's this purple color that I've already decided on. And I'll copy this over and I'll make sure this is now a green color. And I'm just gonna make sure that they're all, almost all the colors in the spectrum inside these circles. So I have four uh, circles for now. What I'm gonna do is create a much, much bigger circle. And I'll place this circle in the center just like this. And I'll make sure this is behind all this. And what I'm gonna do is just gonna place these circles one-on-one -on -one onto these circles and just one on one circle, right? So I'm just gonna group these together. Make sure that the circle behind has 0% opacity, that's for sure. Now that we have this ready, we're just gonna, you know, rem we're just gonna copy this circle. And as you can see, it's a part of a bigger circle now. And I'll just click on this circle inside this circle, <laughs> a lot of circles. And I'm just gonna make sure that these are the same color as the circles on top right here. And just keep on copying it until you have four of these circles. Okay, now that I have four circles embellished, I'm just gonna select all of these together and make sure that they're placed right bang in the center. But now what I wanna do is now rotate these circles a little bit just like this to make sure that they are close to each other but uh, almost sticking with each other but rotate it a little bit. And just keep on selecting these, the select the straight ones first, of course. And as you can see, I'm just rotating these just like this. Uh, nothing else, nothing very complicated. As you can see, I've just uh, copied the original here. And as you can see, all of these are individual circles, but I've just made all of them smaller so that they fit inside each one of these groups. Once I've ungrouped all of these, just uh, make sure that they're inside this bigger circle that we had originally created. And for this one, I'm gonna do something different. So first of all, I'm just gonna duplicate the artboard so that I have a second artboard. And if I select all of these groups and give them a single angle, they will just come inside each other. So rather than saying that, what I'm gonna do is select half of these, which is 143, through mm, say about, mm, uh, come on, 83, right? So 83 through 143, yeah? So these are some of these and I'll make sure they're a certain, they're placed at a certain angle. So I'll make sure this is um, mm, zero degrees and then I'll select the other half of these which are left, of course, and uh, I'll set them to, I don't know, 360 degrees. So they're, rotating at different angles, but they're coming into one uh, position, you know? And uh, if I click on prototype, I'll cl click on the artboard, bring the arrow to the second artboard, say tap, auto animate should always be on, and I'll say four seconds, just to show you guys the magic. 
and I'll make this come back originally as well. So let's test this out. If I click on this circle anywhere, ooh, see how that rotates into one? And if I tap back again, see how it rotates back out. Oh, this is pretty damn cool. If you execute it properly, it'll be the best design you've done. So that was today's video. I post every Monday and Thursday. So if you like the channel, like this video first and then click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon right next to the subscribe button. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday. God bless.